I said it before and I'll say it again. Make the Ben Affleck movie. All right. What's going on, everybody? Hit that subscribe and show your support. Let's get into it. All right, look, we were robbed as fans, as paying consumers from WB Discovery. Why? Because we never got a Ben Affleck standalone feature film featuring himself, all right? Focused on Batman, all right? And I'm not talking about Batman versus Superman because that, to me, was like a cameo, all right? Even though he was half of the film, but it was mainly focused on everything around it. But I'm talking about a solo standalone feature film with Ben Affleck, all right? He's the only guy in Hollywood till this day that never got his own feature film. That's how stupid WB is that they never continued and moved forward with them. They were going to do it, but then what happened? They gave it to this punk ass Robert Pattinson, and here we have the Batman. Look, if you enjoyed the Batman, that's you. But I'm going to say how I feel. And I'm going to express myself with, again, my opinion, all right? So if you get triggered by my opinion, that's your fault, all right? The Batman with Robert Pattinson was trash. It was garbage, all right? I don't care what you say. I stand firm in what I say. That's what I believe. Respect my opinion. If you don't, you're just a troll and you're just a hater, honestly. Because if you like it, hey, that's good. You don't see me bashing on you. That's the difference, all right? Look, with Ben Affleck, guarantee, if we were to get a movie with it, WB will make so much money because people liked Ben Affleck as Batman, all right? And we never got to see his character fully developed, all right? So for you, the one that's saying, well, you need character development, exactly. That's what we need more. We needed Ben Affleck's Batman movie, all right? And again, I will continue to keep fighting and keep on talking about the Snyderverse and everything that has to do with the DCEU. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, just step aside and move, go somewhere else. Honestly, real talk, all right? I'm going to keep on talking about it. I'm going to keep on fighting, and I'm not giving up. So stop telling me to drop it, to stop moving with it. Look, step aside. These videos are not for you, all right? This is for the people that want the Snyderverse and people that appreciate and like and enjoy what Zack Snyder gave us, all right? And like I said, I'm going to keep on talking about it because it's a hot topic that people like and people enjoy, all right? Batman is an iconic character, and I get it. Some of you are just straight-up betas that you can't handle how brute and rough and torn down Ben Affleck's Batman was. That's the Batman that I want. I want Batman beating the shit out of people, kicking their ass for justice. You know why? Because these are criminals. These are scumbags. That's what they deserve. You think a criminal's going to have pity for you? Look at what they did to Bruce's parents. So you're going to tell me that Batman shouldn't kill? Hell, if it was up to me, go for it. Do it. Why? Because sometimes you have to do what's necessary. Honestly. All right? And in every battle and in every fight, there's going to be casualties along the way. It's just part of it. You get what I'm saying? Batman's not going to be able to save everybody. Some people are going to get hurt along the way. All right? And they'll come at me with that. Oh, well, Batman shouldn't kill. Well... This is the Snyder Snyderverse. This is what Zack's vision was giving us. And I want more of it. If you can't accept that, just step to the side. This is not for you. I get it. You don't like it. Move to the side. I want more of it. I want that bruteness. I want that rough, torn down Batman that he's been dealing with all these criminals for the past 20 to 30 years. It's going to drive anybody insane. All right. I don't like what Matt Reeves did with the Batman. Because he was boring. It's just been done before. And it just wasn't entertaining. That's my personal opinion. Right? Again, if you get triggered by that, that's on you. Right? Honestly, I want more of Ben Affleck as Batman. Honestly, it's the best thing that Warner Brothers has done to this day. Right? Yes, I get it. Uh, Christian Bale was good for his time. And so were everybody else. You get what I'm saying? And this shows you that if in The Flash, they would have focused more on Ben Affleck and less on Keaton, I guarantee you that, mo that movie would have been a lot better than what it did at the box office. Because people want more Ben Affleck. And here it shows you that nostalgia doesn't always win. It doesn't always succeed either. Why? Because they brought in Michael Keaton. This dude's like, what, 60? Almost going to 70? I don't know. And you can see how, like, he, he's old already, you know? Like, his time has passed. They should have never done that. They should have just focused on Ben Affleck, give him more screen time, focused on him with the marketing, 
and it would have done a lot better in the flash honestly you know because those two or three minutes that we get with you know with Ben Affleck well that's not really him that's you know his uh his stand his stand in person his stunt double whatever um of course he comes out when he talks with Barry in the car that's the only time that you see Ben Affleck and of course the scenes that they deleted that I'm sure James Gunn had a lot to do with it because it wasn't gonna fit his narrative you get what I'm saying but Overall, I do want that Ben Affleck, that he has to do what he has to do to take all these criminals down, to take and hunt down all these bosses that he has to do. You get what I'm saying? Because in the real world, these scumbags are like that. You're not going to have lighthearted criminals. They're criminals. That's what they are. So you need a badass to be able to battle them and go up against them to take them all down. And that's what Ben Affleck's Batman was doing. That's why it pisses me off as a fan because... Here, WB Discovery is, they have this iconic character, Batman, but they have no clue to do what to do with him, you know? And then when David Ayer brought him in as a cameo in Suicide Squad, that was amazing. That was because it just builds up more to it because it's like, I want to see more of that. You know, like what led the Batmobile with Batman into that chase scene right before what we see in Suicide Squad? You get what I'm saying? I want to see what happens. What's going on behind that as they get into that car chase? See what I'm saying? I also want to see what's the personal problems that Batman has with Deadshot when you see that that um, cameo also in Suicide Squad. I also want to see a lot more. Of course, it was setting up Batman with Deathstroke. What happens with that? That's all just thrown up in the air. See what I'm saying? There's material to be used that WB Discovery can capitalize off of it. So if you're listening, Warner Brothers Discovery or anybody that's in the high power or whatever, that's your opportunity to capitalize. I guarantee you, you announce a Ben Affleck Batman movie, you're going to see your stocks go up. You're going to see your clicks go up. You're going to see everything go up. Why? Because that's what the consumer wants. I get it. Some of them don't want that. But most and majority do want it. Because you have even celebrities that are coming out and saying, hey, I want to see Ben Affleck. I want to see more of him. We've been seeing this for years. The only one actor in Hollywood that played Batman but was never given an actual Batman movie. That makes no sense, right? That makes no sense. And then when they were about to move forward with it, what happens? He got robbed. Why? Because they took it away from him and they just gave it to this punk ass Robert Pattinson and here we are. See what I'm saying? That's why I'm not looking forward to the Batman 2. I really am not. I want to see Ben Affleck in a Batman standalone feature film. And I guarantee you that movie will make over $1 billion. Guarantee it. But that's how scared WB is that they won't do it. Why? Because they're scared. They're trying to be like Marvel. And the Marvel formula doesn't work here at DC. It's already proven. Wake up. Wake up, Warner Brothers. Discovery. It's not working. Bring back Zack. Continue the Snyderverse. Make the Ben Affleck solo film. We need it. Make the Batflip film. We need that to happen. Alright? What are your thoughts? Drop your comments. Hit that subscribe, and as always, until next time.